morning everyone how are you today I'm Flora Sage I am your life coach to help you create a life that you are wildly obsessed with and are so excited about so today I want to share with you what the five types of clutter are that are keeping you stuck and preventing you from getting what you want and I have no idea what's going on with my hair so uh, first things first Comment below or wherever you're seeing the comment section, <laughs> hashtag live or hashtag replay to let me know if you're watching this live or the replay. Also let me know where you're tuning in from. I truly want to know. So what are the five types of clutter that are keeping you stuck where you are at? The first one is environmental clutter. So environmental clutter is essentially all of your immediate surroundings. So when you look around you, what do you see, all right? Your, your environmental uh, surroundings truly impact your ability to focus and truly impact the way that you are able to show up in the world. So the, in, in this respect, the 80-20 rule applies. We get 80% of the results that we get in our life from 20% of our actions. So if you look at your surroundings, your immediate surroundings, 20% of the things that you have in your home are the 20% of the things that you use. The other 80% are just kind of taking up space because we might use them someday. So the second type of clutter that is keeping you stuck is body clutter. Okay, this can be being overweight, this can be binge eating, this can be not eating or not giving your body food and fuel when it needs it. This could be not working out or not moving your body regularly. Um, and also this could be not tuning in and listening to your body cues that it gives you throughout the day. Like I'm hungry or I have to go to the bathroom or I'm thirsty or I'm tired or I'm energized and I wanna go do something. So that's a huge thing that so many people just kind of discount and they don't really think that that's a type of clutter that's holding you back, but it truly is. Uh, the third type of clutter is mental and emotional clutter. This can be stress, this can be anxiety, this can be avoidance. This can be not making decisions, uh, especially if you have decision fatigue. And so what is decision fatigue? Real quick, decision fatigue is when you make too many decisions all day long and you're just like, oh my God, I can't even. And so you just don't make a decision because you just feel exhausted. So that is a type of mental and emotional clutter that if you feel like you just have a really hard time making a decision, chances are you have this type of clutter. All of the, like all, all of those things, like the stress, the anxiety, avoidance behaviors, all of that stems from having decision fatigue and all of that stems from having just too much stuff going on in your life. The fourth type of clutter is digital clutter or digital hoarding. This is huge because so many people, I mean, most people are on your devices like right now. You're watching this on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. Most people watch this on a tablet or a mobile device. And so I want you to think about how many apps do you have on your phone or your device that you never ever use? You downloaded them, you tried them, maybe used them once or twice. Now they're just kind of there. They're just taking up space. How many emails do you have in your inbox? How many, this is huge. Most people have on average about 10,000 emails unread in their inbox. <laughs> How many pictures do you have on your phone? I really want you to think about this because this digital clutter is a type of digital hoarding. I might need it someday. Well, what if I need to reference this email or that email? If you have Gmail, that's what the archive is for. Just put it all in the archive, you're good, <laughs> okay? So, the fifth type of clutter is our daily clutter. And this is our daily to-do list, okay? So a few months ago, we talked about paying attention to your busy. So, so many times I hear people say, oh my God, I'm just so busy. I'm like, mm, something's wrong then if you're really busy all the time. So typically busy work is the work that is unproductive. 
Yes, it's washing dishes. It's cleaning the toilet. So yes, you do get a clean toilet. You do get clean dishes. Hi, kitty. Um, my cat's meowing at me. <laughs> but it's not moving the needle in your life or in your business or towards your goals that you really want to achieve. And so you're so busy, you're so busy doing other random stuff that you're not actually fulfilled. You're not actually moving towards the thing that you want because all of this busy clutter, all of these to-dos that you have on your list are taking up all the time throughout the day. So at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I'll just start working out tomorrow. Or, oh, I'll just start doing this tomorrow. Or I'll, you know, and you just keep putting it off and putting it because you have so much busy. So these five types of clutter are the main types of clutter that keep people stuck where they're at for decades, decades. And then when you realize that, wait a minute, I don't need this and I don't need that, and you start to declutter your life and you start to declutter these things, then all of a sudden you start to have that open space, you start to have that open energy, you start to have the availability to then now pursue those things that you want. But a lot of the times people think, oh, I'm just too old or I'm just, it's too late in life for me to do this, yada, yada, yada. And then you just give up on your dreams and you're, you just, again, you feel stuck, you feel stifled and you're kind of pissed off and you're feeling a little bit frustrated because you're like, oh, why couldn't I do this earlier? <laughs> so I want you to really reflect on these five types of clutter and really ask yourself, what do I feel is the number one type of clutter that's holding me back right now? And in all the 23 years that I've been coaching people, the same answer keeps coming up whenever I ask that question. It's the environment, it's the environmental clutter. So the environmental clutter, again, it's the stuff if you just like stop and you look around you, it's the stuff that's in your home, in your vehicle, in your office space, in your bedroom, all the, the actual spaces that you're living in. That's the number one stressor for so many people and the reason why is because our brains are wired to look like five times every second or more to scan for threats. So the more stuff that you have around you, the more stuff that your brain has to scan to see if it is a threat. And so it happens, the more stuff you have around you, the more your brain's like, oh shit, like we got a lot to scan here, let's just keep looking and looking and searching it bumps up your cortisol and adrenaline in your body. Cortisol is a stress hormone that can pack on weight. It can cause decision fatigue because it's just pumping all this out like stress, 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 and you're like, oh my God, I can't even, like seriously? That's why people feel so overwhelmed. And so to help you with this, I actually have a program called the Simplify 10 Day Declutter Extravaganza. And we're actually doing that 10 day challenge inside of my One Degree Shift Tribe. So you don't have to completely gut out your house. <laughs> you don't have to do like that whole TV show where they completely, you know, take everything out of the room and then do it. I'm gonna actually teach you my three phase declutter system, which is huge, 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 huge. So way back in the day in 1997, I opened up my very first business called Home CEO. And in that business, I taught people this three phase declutter system and it truly was a life changer. And in this three phase system, I teach you how to declutter and minimize your physical surroundings so that you can have more time during the day, you can have more time to pursue what you want to do and you can still see your space and all your stuff minimize, minimize, minimize. So I teach you from the surface level to the mid level to the deep level. So no matter how much time you have, you can and will see progress in your physical environment and a reduction of your physical possessions and the clutter and the stuff that is taking away your time and robbing you and making you time poor so that you're constantly busy. So if you want to participate in the Simplify 10 Day Declutter Challenge, you can only participate if you're a member of the One Degree Shift Tribe. So click the link below or in the comments, wherever you see this video, click the link to join us inside the One Degree Shift Tribe 
to start the 10 day declutter challenge on April 12th. Now, between now and then, what I want you to do, again, is to review these five types of clutter and really start to eliminate one piece of clutter at a time. And like I said, during this challenge, I'm gonna teach you all of my tips and tricks on how to declutter your environment. And when, you're, when, when you have a, a clear space and your environment is decluttered, what happens is it gives you that mental capacity. It really opens up your mental faculties so that you can start to feel less stressed and you can start to make better decisions quicker with less of that kind of circular thinking of, oh my gosh, what am I making the wrong decision? All these things, you know, because your stress levels are going down because your environment is now clearer. And if your environment is clearer, when your brain scans five times a second or more to, to scan for threats, it's not gonna see as much stuff. So there's not gonna be as much, if any, cortisol pumping through your body. All of a sudden you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I feel calmer. I feel less stressed. I have more mental faculties so that I can make these decisions. I feel less busy. So you're gonna to start to get more time freedom back. The average person spends over an hour a week looking for shit in their house. What would you do with that extra hour or more? Like, or more, because most people spend more time than that looking for stuff. Think about that. I wanna give you your time freedom back. So click the link in the comments, join the One Degree Shift Tribe. Oh my gosh, and actually this Wednesday, we're digging deeper into the five types of clutter. We're doing a full workshop, it's gonna be so epic. We're, we're actually doing the workshop to kick off the month for the for, for you know like this theme because each each month inside of the One Degree Shift Tribe, we have a theme and this month is decluttering our life so that we can have a life that we are excited about. So if you wanna join us Wednesday, uh, April 7th for our Lunch and Learn Declutter Challenge kickoff. Click the link in the comments, or if you just wanna join us for the 10 Day Declutter Challenge on the 12th, click the link in the comments, join us. You're gonna have access to all the fun stuff inside of the One Degree Shift Tribe, and as well as all the people that are in there that are ready to go and ready to kick this off. Oh, one last thing, there is going to be a kind of a contest, if you will, and one person is going to win unlimited access with me for an entire month. It's a $2,200 value. So if you wanna be that person, click the link, join us inside the One Degree Shift Tribe for this 10-day declutter challenge and our kickoff on Wednesday where I dig deeper into these five types of clutter and teach you how to clear them once and for all. I love you. I hope this serves you today. Click the link. Join us. I'll see you inside. Bye.